people who survive these things, yeah, kind, it's kind of like grief that you never really forget. Coming back here to this place I once called home and knowing what I went through that night, it really taken a toll on my life. I, when I looked on my farm, I did not see anything but earth. You know, I say, I say, Lord, I don't have nothing left, you know? I'm sorry. It wasn't that prepared. And when that hurricane hit, it was just pure disaster. After Maria and the fishing community, everything was on a standstill, dead. When the volcano erupted, I really thought it would just go back to sleep. The, the noise, the, the, the wildness of it, the awe of it, is so absolutely terrifying. A tropical storm carrying winds of less than 40 miles would normally, in the past, not been seen as something dangerous. However, that tropical storm carrying 10 inches of rain dropping in two hours is as catastrophic as a hurricane free. These things are going to keep happening in the Caribbean. Uh, we have a number of perils, uh, the hurricanes, which is what we're known for. But we saw what happened with the earthquake in Haiti. We've got tsunamis, which really hasn't affected us that much. But that's a strong likelihood. It's something my father used to say all the time, there but for the grace of God go I. So it will be Dominica's turn, or Jamaica's turn, or Montserrat's turn, at some point. We're so vulnerable. We know that we are under duress because of the hurricane seasons that always come across here. But Caribbean people have to play their part also because we do a lot of littering, we do a lot of, of destroying the trees, cutting down trees and things like that. I think Mother Earth is trying to say to us that um, changes, the changes that are taking place is because we need to take care of Mother Earth more. There are significant human problems here that in which um, human civilization has been threatened. That is the reality of climate change. And as you know, climate change um, knows no borders, it knows no color. Climate change affects us all, and it requires global cooperation in order to address this very significant um, global threat, one that is literally threatening uh, the very existence of humanity. I know we mustn't give up. Victory will be ours. We can do all things. We need to plant new evergreen trees in our heart. No matter how powerful the destruction is, she cannot destroy what we plant in our heart. We can water it with tears of love and joy, or we can water it with tears of bitterness and anguish. We can nourish it with hope and optimism, or we can poison it with despair and depression. We can allow it to sustain us, or we can allow it to oppress us. We can either brood over our losses, or build a new Caribbean, a Caribbean full of our grandmother's stories. I know that the evergreen tree will continue to stand and we will rise out of the ashes. Do you know which path that you will take? I have faced a mountain and when the mountain roared at me, I roared right back.